Hey guys, every single style block YouTuber here. The recent update is potentially the most controversial update in style block history. I mean, not really. There's like a vocal minority of a few hundred people, but that's beside the point. In general, the update was great with the mayor elections and community center. Nobody is really arguing about that. The source of all the controversy is this, the community shop. And, um... If you don't know how it works, then I made a video going over it, and it's worth a watch. Also, geez, we're really close to 60k, so make sure you subscribe to be under 60k gang. Okay, moving on. There's a few main causes for complain, mainly the fact that you can basically buy coins for real life money through booster cookies, and how some of the upgrades cost gems and provide a natural unfair advantage over the players on the server. And you know what? That is true. It does provide unfair advantages to players, but realistically, there's no way to entice enough people into buying anything else, as Minecraft is just too limiting in what you can offer cosmetically without a client or mod. It's more of a necessary evil than a greedy company. But hey, the good news is that they're hiring 5 more developers, assuming the launch continues to be successful. So, is it pay to win? If you want to stretch the definition, then... Yes, it is pay to win, but from a player's perspective, it's more pay to progress, which, you know, doesn't sound much better, but like, it doesn't limit players from any actual content. Sure, the sound of more minion slots is extremely appealing, and a plus 5 magic find is nice for grinding, but that's not more content being locked behind a paywall, and it certainly won't magically make you enjoy the game if you didn't before. If you don't enjoy the game and only play because you feel like you have to be better than everyone else, then you don't really enjoy the game. You're just addicted. Plus, it doesn't even decrease the experience of anyone in the game. Most upgrades can be done for free, which gives every single player some free bonuses and nothing in the base game was nerfed or removed to compensate, meaning if you never spent a penny, then you'd literally just be having the same experience as before the update dropped, with free add bonuses. The one issue this does bring up, however, is leaderboards. Players have spent literally thousands of hours trying to match out their collections to get number one on a leaderboard, and this is no longer fair with the introduction of the time-sensitive minion upgrades that give players an obvious leaderboard advantage for a few days, even if the upgrades are free, which ruins the leaderboard community who are more popular than you may think. People also seem to dislike the idea that you can buy coins with money through the booster cookies, and, you know, they're not really wrong, because you can. But what people are forgetting is that coins never have been, nor are, the main point of Skyblock. Coins are the fastest way to progress in gear, and you can buy basically any item you want. But a Combat 15 Nun buying superior with real life money is still a Combat 15 Nun at the end of the day, and no amount of money is going to make their superior armor usable or worth having without a grinding. Sure, it skips the money grind, but it doesn't help you win the game. And after all, once you own all the expensive items in the game, then you haven't won. You just have tons of worthless coins and no game to play because you already have everything. People also point out the rule against IRL trading. The rule is not there because IRL trading is a problem, but rather the means that IRL traders will go to get their coins to sell is extremely damaging to the economy, such as scamming, duplication glitches, the latter causing ridiculous inflation, whereas Hypixel's solution is entirely player regulated and do not introduce new coins into the economy, keeping the game healthy. If you want to learn about inflation in Skyblock, then there's a video in the top right of your screen now. So, yeah, is it pay to win? Not really, because you can't win Skyblock. Does pain give you an unfair advantage? Yes, but it's only personal gain and doesn't lock any actual gameplay, items, or content behind any real world paywall. I'm sure people's anger will die down a bit after people realize that the paid elements still directly benefit free-to-play players in the form of cheap booster cookies in the bazaar. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Please rewatch the video before you start arguing with people in the comments so you don't miss any key points. Alright, take care of yourselves. See ya.